Hello there, it's Melanie Wood, founder and owner of Speaking Styles, and welcome to today's episode where we are going to be able to work through how to begin to communicate self-respect. So thinking about self-respect when you're in your business or in your workplace, it's so important to begin with yourself of being able to communicate that, being able to know more about the areas in your life that you would really like to be able to work on for self-respect. Because it does start with you first, and then you're going to be able to build the skill and even more strategies to be able to then communicate it more and more and really build that confidence and clarity in your business and within your organization. So let's get started today on how to communicate self-respect. So number one is that starting small. So you want to start in one area to begin to say knowing. So if you are someone that tends to be saying yes to everyone, you're consistently there to answer phone calls, texts, messages, emails, and you really just think, oh, you know, I just want to be able to have time to myself or just to be able to respond later and not feel guilty of taking 24 hours or taking an hour. So I really want you to begin with what's one area to start small. What's one area where you can begin to say no to? And in that one is that maybe it's in your business and maybe you're just at capacity with the amount of clients and you don't want to be going in with scarcity thinking, if I don't take this person on, then what's going to happen um, financially? So it's being able to say, I haven't got time right now to take you on, but it could be in a month's time. So let's pop you on the wait list. It could be is that you want to be able to start being able to communicate to people and say when you're available and when you're not available. So those are things that you can begin. And I don't mean that you have to say no as the word that you use. It's thinking about where have you been saying yes to in your life and where you would really like to begin to be able to communicate your respect, to be able to have respect back of time in balance into your life. So begin with one area where you really want to be able to have a choice and be able to have the confidence to communicate that. So again, one thing, you know that I'm a big believer on one thing at a time, and that is going to be able to build the skill and build your confidence at the same time. Because once you can start to begin to do it once, you can begin to do it even more. So pick one area that you'd love to be able to start saying no thank you to. That brings me to number two, is that within that area, what is maybe one or two people that you would love to be able to begin with? And again, it doesn't mean that you have to go for the most scariest person. Begin where you're at and start there. So it can be that it's the most easiest person to be able to do that, to be able to be comfortable and confident to do that. So begin with one to two people. So this can be in your workplace and somebody maybe consistently um, ask you to go to lunch or to when you're out, maybe popping to get them something. So being able to really start being able to think of maybe that one person that you could just begin to, and it's a bit of a practice to be able to do that. It could be is that maybe you're a manager, a leader, and you want to be able to stop people um, consistently knocking on your door or taking up your time. And again, being able to bring that back to you of self-respect, of respecting yourself. And why I talk about this is the more that you respect yourself, the more that other people will do the same. So that's why it's so important to begin. It could be one person that you begin with, and then you start being able to communicate to that one person. So that brings me then on to number three, and that I say all the time is that when we begin this journey of communicating in the workplace or through a business, and when we say no or no thank you, 
then we do not want to go into explaining ourselves because this is where you hand over your power to the other person is that it tends to be is that we feel really guilty about saying no and we start to go in and we give people shopping lists of every reason why so i really want you to get comfortable with being able to not explaining yourself and i really want you to think about this in a way of every time you do that you give away your power and i don't mean that you just blankly say no you could say at this time i'm unable to help you let's book a time in that we both have time to be able to do that or being able to say that um, within your business maybe it's around um, with your clients and it's just being able to really step out your boundaries um, step out guidelines and then you don't have to explain yourself because you could then send people back to those guidelines and remembering those conversations so i really want you to think about it is that yeah don't explain yourself and being able to say just not at this time am i able to be able to add this onto my workload um, or you could say is that maybe in a workplace maybe you can go and check if if jenny can help you so those are things that we want to be able to concise the information and get to the point of what do they need to know in that conversation and that's all you need to do and it is being comfortable and confident with no matter what happens out of that or what somebody might say or somebody might think of you it's okay because you are beginning to self-respect yourself in your organization or in your business and that's what's really important and when you begin that you will start to see the shift and people will start respecting you because you're respecting yourself and i know sometimes it can be scary in the beginning of doing this but really just follow this process and you'll start to be able to start small gain that confidence gain being comfortable and you'll be able to grow from there so pick an area that you would love to be able to start with um, to be able to say no who might that first person be and how are you going to take some time to plan that response so that you don't go into a shopping list of explaining yourself so I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then please do now. And you can keep up to date with these weekly teachings that I'm going to be doing every single week. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.